Shabbat Shalom. Woo! All right. So from a glance, do I look like marriage material? Yeah? Yeah, yeah I do. How about now? Yeah? Let's make this like the eye doctor. All right, so, uh, I don't know. Better? Or worse? Yeah? Better? Yeah. Or worse? Well, thank you to all of one who said yes. Um, because I don't always feel like it. I get that all humans have their flaws, but I feel less human, more flaw, more curb your enthusiasm plot line in the flesh. I accidentally killed my second hamster. I forgot it existed and I forgot I was real, so I didn't feed it for like a week. I was young and dumb, and I was a kid, I was a kid, and, and 17 is a hard age, okay? Uh, I was recently seeing this woman, and things were going so well that after the second date, we made things official. We started looking at U-Hauls. She was the beneficiary of my 401k. Then after about a month, I wasn't hearing as much from her anymore. And I really started to panic that I had somehow messed everything up. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave these presents and a nice letter on your doorstep, like a desperate leprechaun. <laughs> because we spent New Year's together and you met my dog. So I'm already in love with you. <laughs> this is just how lesbians date. <laughs> And I've been queer for a couple decades now, so I have been on and off this roller coaster quite a few times. I mean, I'm basically a walking episode of the L word at this point. And this journey hasn't always been easy. Queerness is not something that was accepted in my home. Or my old high school. <laughs> or most religions. Uh, so my mother unknowingly met my first serious girlfriend in college. And one of the first things she ever said to her was, if Nina doesn't learn how to cook and clean right, she will never find a good Puerto Rican husband. Because that is all a Puerto Rican girl is good for. Serving the ego on porcelain white dishes. Scrubbing sin out of the home until your fingers bleed holy wine. Finding men to bless your backyard but burying your own bones. To be a good Hispanic woman is to be woman when you are still girl to watch boys get sex ed while you get the rose talk. I remember sewing my lips into silence as my mother sat me on her bed, picked at the petals like they were pieces of my body to be thrown away, told me if I have sex before marriage, there would only be thorns left as if thorns weren't grown out of self-defense, as if my body is just a single spiked stem and not an entire garden growing in and out of my own seasons. Do you realize the rose is already dying the minute you pick away her freedom? rip her out of her own soil and force her into a vase she didn't ask for. I was raised to believe men were my brightest source of worth, but my water and my roots have no say. Cracked faces and pure white dresses trapped my breath long before love and sex 
ever could. Most Hispanic mothers will swear you can find womanhood in a David's bridal. <laughs> this is because they are squeezing their perfect Barbie girl daughters into virgin frills. And being the kind of girl I am, well, I once shit my pants in a David's bridal. <laughs> and when I say shit my pants, <laughs> I don't mean a turtle peeking out of the shell or even a shark, no. I mean, my parents should have called Tim Cook because that shit was streaming so much, I bet I could have sold it to Apple Music. That shit was running so fast down my legs that it would have qualified for the Olympics. Bringing home that liquid bronze, right? <laughs> but I like to consider this historical event, uh, Shitgate 2005 is what we can call it, to be the first time my body ever expelled the shame that raised me. Pieces of the apple that bit back at Eve. Lessons on how to send my love to hell. Shame is the biggest part of hell I have ever experienced. I wonder how many of you think my story is of sin and not struggle. I believe there is room for everyone at the table, but we are the ones who have to set it. When I pull out your chair, it is not just so you can sit in my truth. It is so I can give you a space to offer yours back. From high school lunches served in scared bathroom stalls to family dining rooms, Bread we serve should taste like community, not conditions. The woman I date should feel less like gossip and more like love that only grows and never dissolves. Like lessons that only teach and never punish. Like a freedom that should exist as a parade, not a war. How often do you project your ego onto your children? How often do you step on someone else's cracks to straighten your own spine? Judge all the wings that can't fly as if your clouds are the only place to rise. I'm learning to find sacred union between my own bones and not in your reflection. I hope you can find joy in your own mirror while celebrating the differences in mine.